गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वेस्ट नाइल वायरस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज द केरला हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट हैज साउंडेड एन अलर्ट इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ त्रिसूर मल्लापुरम एंड कोजिकोट फॉलोइंग द डिटेक्शन ऑफ द वैक्टर बोन वेस्ट नाइल फीवर Now let's discuss what is WNV that is West Nile virus. The West Nile virus is a flavi virus related to the viruses that are also responsible for causing St. Louis encephalitis, Japanese encephalitis and yellow fever. It is a mosquito borne single stranded RNA virus. WNV was first isolated in a woman in the West Nile district of Uganda in 1937. It was identified in birds in the Nile Delta region in 1953. Before 1997, WNV was not considered pathogenic for birds. Human infections attributable to WNV have been reported in many countries for over 50 years. In 80% of the infected people, the disease is asymptomatic Moving on to its global prevalence Along all major bird migratory routes WNV outbreak sites are found Africa, Europe, the Middle East, North America and West Asia are the regions where the virus is commonly found Usually WNV infections peak during the period when mosquito vectors are most active and the ambient temperature is high enough for virus multiplication for most of the countries Now let's discuss about its prevention and treatment Prevention the establishment of an active animal health surveillance system to detect new cases in birds and horses should be essentially established As WNV outbreaks in animals precede human cases it is necessary to provide early warning for veterinary and human public health authorities the european center for disease control and prevention has suggested that 28 day blood donor deferral or nucleic acid testing of prospective donors who have visited or lived in an affected area should be implemented by the european union besides testing for wnv infection must be done for the donors of organs tissues and cells who are living in or returning from an affected area treatment as of now no treatment or vaccine for wnv is available only supportive treatments can be provided to neuroinvasive wnv patients now is the time for practice question consider the following statements regarding the west nile virus one the aedes species of mosquitoes serve as the primary vectors for transmission 2 the disease is asymptomatic in 80% of infected individuals which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications